Okay, so I'm quite pleased with myself actually. I'm starting to make up the frames for the battery boxes and uh, I didn't have any like protractor or angles or anything like that to make sure the angle was 45 degrees. So uh, I found that, which was about right. Just to check it, I've put a saw across another saw and then I can uh, just put that up there and check. I might not be able to see very well. That is good enough for me. Right, so we're uh, cracking on with these battery boxes and it's all cut up and, and clamped. As you can see, I've checked side to side, both ends and lengthways, just to make sure it's square. So, uh, better get it welded up. Right, okay, progress time. So, uh, we cut the hole and then we uh, realised that the subframe uh, sticks out. So our idea of having two batteries sunk in this way wasn't gonna work. Uh, so we had to go back to the drawing board with the battery box. So we are now gonna have four in the back here vertically We've met, just made up this framework here, so um, it's quite a snug fit, uh, as you can see. So we've just got a few more, now we've got this in here, we've been able to see and get a few more ideas about how we're going to progress with this. So we're looking at welding that cage in here uh, and then fabricating around it so that it's all sealed from underneath and then we'll be able to get the batteries in. We have to cut here, cut here, take that bit off, have that removable. We can fit the batteries in and then bolt everything back in place. So uh, I'm going to take this metal battery box frame out, finish welding it up, make up bottom sides and then look at welding it actually into the Mini. You never know, progress. Okay, so it's a bit rough and ready at the moment, but it will get tidied up. So, just give you an idea what we're doing. And then I'll just grab a battery and show you what the plan is. 
So there we go, there's the battery box. Made it a bit higher than I originally thought just to try and give us some room to manoeuvre and room for wiring etc. So we've made up these little tabs so that it can sit nicely. The lug here actually sits inside this slot and then this piece, or this piece here, how hot still, uh, supports the actual battery to make sure it's upright and supported. So all we've got to do now is do the top bit. So lots of lovely progress today. There are some battery modules in what resembles loosely a battery box. Okay, lots of tidying up and stuff to do. Um, so uh, this design has evolved as we've as we've gone on. Um, find a problem, solve the problem, create another problem. You know, a bit like that. So anyway, we've had to make this bar along the top here uh, removable um, because otherwise you just can't get the batteries in and out. So at the moment we think that the we think that the battery box itself is going to be welded into the car. We think that's the best way to do it at the moment, um, but it's going to have to go at an angle. Uh, tilted this way a bit because the rear seat reclines back so um, that was getting in the way but uh, then we were gonna have these little bits here we're gonna go on like that we've got to cut them too short haven't we so there you go that was silly but thinking looking at it now now that the batteries are actually in might go with a threaded bar all the way across there and then that will hold them in place I mean as you can see with the uh, supports that we've done down there and everything I mean they're pretty well in this these two here on the end they're easy enough we can just bolt through from the outside but these ones are a problem but I reckon a threaded bar all the way through that might solve our problems so we're gonna use a threaded bar to uh, go through and support the top brackets in the battery box so we just need to drill out these holes to 8mm to uh, accept the threaded bar. Right, so uh, carrying on with the battery box, I put the battery box in the back of the Mini and measured up and I've got to put a plate in the bottom here because where the wheel well is sort of comes along here and down like that so I'm going to be able to weld this plate to the hole in the floor. Um, but anyway, let's get this cleaned up, get it welded in place and then you'll be able to see better what the hell I'm yapping on about. Right, so uh, there's a battery box in the car, kind of. So uh, what I've got to do now is I think the best way to do this is to weld this in. This won't be removable, but as you can see, I am going to have easy access to the batteries to be able to get the batteries in and out fairly simply. So uh, what I've got to do now is tack it in and tidy it up and whatnot. Let's see if this works. 
Right, so uh, that's all tacked in. Now I've got to make up some. I'm a little bit concerned, or Dad was a little bit concerned about welding that plate to that plate and getting some distortion and whatnot. Uh, and obviously we've got a bit of a gap there from where we cut it earlier. So what we have done is we've just quickly fabbed up some angles. So that one goes in there. That tucks in there nicely like that. And then that one goes like that. So uh, get it all cleaned up, get them welded in. So there we go, uh, that is uh, where we are with the rear battery box, um, as you can see, obviously there's a lot of tidying up, but we've got the closing plates in, we've got these little angles in place, it's all welded in, pretty damn solid, um, and we've had to do a modification to the uh, rotisserie here, because that went up onto these brackets but we've managed to get it on these rear mounting points now so that's about it for this episode um now it's on the rotisserie we can get to the underneath we can you know have a good look at it from the underneath and get that all welded and tidied and and whatnot so we're pretty happy with how that's gone but that's about it for today's episode uh there is more coming soon, a lot sooner than 100 days, so I apologise for the long wait. But there you go, moving on up. <laughs>